now that you've learned how to create a link we're gonna show you how to create a contact form so as you can see here on the contact us page there is a contact form let's just delete it now if you want to get a contact form you go to insert forms and form elements you can get a blank form which has nothing in it a contact us form which they just had on there and a feedback form let's do feedback form there you go send us your feedback you can move this whole box you got your name your email company job title subject questions comments and more send us feedback now you can delete any of these boxes you can also change them in location by just dragging them and uh, now I'm going to show you so now we need to double click these boxes right now you can see right here it says name right up on top here it says email this little box right next to my pointer here says email when you double click this opens up this text field properties now when you make a form you usually have it sent to your email address the one you probably set up with your website right now I'll know that anything that's filled in that email box which I titled email will um, I'll know that that's someone's email address this is how you kinda keep track of what you're doing and um, if you don't want if you want it to be required meaning they have to fill this form out to complete fill this box in to complete this form which I recommend for names and emails when you want to get that information maybe you don't need a phone number or an address but you can still include those boxes you want to click required field if not it won't be required so let's require that and hit OK so you can do that all by yourself if you want to change this to something else to uh, address you can change it address this still says email so we don't want to be confused open that up type an address this this box here is for your reference no one else will see this the people will not see these little boxes above these little gray boxes that's only for your reference so you know what information they filled in so you can keep track of that and if you want to add stuff you can extend this box down by just grabbing these squares here which which you do with most things you can highlight let's say we want to move this down you can just hi highlight that box copy paste there you go move it down to where you want and there you go one of the ways you can move things around too is by using the arrow keys uh, you don't have to just use your mouse you can use your arrow keys to get a little more precise moving by one pixel at a time now you see it says subject well that's right here we don't want that so let's change it to um, what time to call there we go now you can see that this is just asking them what is the best time to call again they don't see that and you can just put a little box next to it telling them you know what is the best time to call you can also stretch these boxes themselves if you feel like you want them longer or shorter and the order they are on the page is the order you'll receive them in the email form it's pretty self-explanatory you'll see that now you need to re you need to re uh, pick a form that you want or an email address that you want this form to be sent to you're gonna to go to send you're gonna double click this button down here and you wanna click on form settings now you can do this deliver email addresses so these are email addresses that you have set up whether it's a yahoo or your website address now I'm gonna click find I have to log into my account here I'm gonna log in just my name and yahoo name and password I'm going to select uh, one of my websites. Let's um, just open up eFinders.com. There we go. When there's some email addresses, A1 Fisher, that's my standard Yahoo one. And then this eFinders one, this is the one I want my forms to go to. Then I can select the confirmation page. For example, someone fills out the warm and form and you want them to be taken to a new offer page or just a thank you page for joining or subscribing, whatever you're using the form for. You're going to browse. These are going to be pages you've made. So maybe you just want them to go back to your home page. 
And then if there's an error, you can make a custom error page to say, hey, there was a problem when you filled out your form. Please resubmit your information. This is what you're going to use. This is more for advanced features, which you probably won't use too often. But maybe I'll get more on that in some other videos. So I'm going to click the standard form. When they fill out this form, it's going to be sent to Aaron at eFinders.com. So that's a form. Now you can add other buttons to your form. If you go to Insert, Forms and Elements, there's a checkbox. We can name that uh, check, whatever you want to name it. Now you see a little checkbox. So maybe you want to have a checkbox for yes or no, or what color they want, or what size they want. Then you can put the text by it and title it. And let's say we wanted that to be a large t-shirt. Just type large t-shirt. Now I know that when they're filling out this information that they wanted the large, they'll select the large checkbox. And I'll put large next to it. You can make as many checkboxes as you want. You can also do a list box, which is a little different. Um, more sir, uh, let's just call this services or happy or sad. <laughs> now you hit add. That's going to be the title of this, and we're going to add some columns. We want to add yes as an option. Add an, another one, no as an option, and not sure. You can do whatever you want. You can add as many as you want. You can have one that's automatically selected for them. I would just do that. Click Add or click OK. There you go. Now you can put some text next to this. Were they happy? Yes, no, not sure. Otherwise, you can also shrink it. I like the look of this. And it's a drop down menu. That's what I prefer. So you can do that. So that is how you create a form. You can test out the other um, form elements, their text area, text field, and a radio button. They're all pretty self-explanatory. Here's a radio button, like a checkbox. You'll see all that. Just play around with that. You'll figure it out. It's really easy.